Uh, the most obvious effect of COVID are the people working on the COVID units, the ICUs that are maxed out in terms of resources. And um, but I I think it's important to recognize it's affecting everyone. Um, for me personally, it's been the tiniest of interactions. Um, the very beginning, for example, I remember I was told by someone in a position of authority that if I kept using, if I was going to use one more N95 mask that I was going to be reported to, to a higher level of management and questioning my judgment and what I, there weren't a lot of ways that you felt in control, especially, or at any point during this experience with COVID, you don't feel like you have a lot of control in this environment and you're, you want to be informed. We've been trained to make evidence-based decisions and the evidence is new, it's ever-changing, and we want to stay safe ultimately at the end of the day. And it, that tiny interaction of almost being threatened because I wanted to provide the care to my patient doing it in the most safe manner. Uh, that left me feeling extremely unsupportive and fearful in my workplace, which is just a level of stress you don't need in what is already a stressful environment. Um, so that stands out to me as what it was like initially. Um, I, and, and that has led to what I'm thankful for, uh, multiple discussions between the employer and the union to, for the most part, be on the same page about what is acceptable for PPE use and ensuring that our nurses have access to it. So um, that is one story that um, sticks with me. And now fast forward many, many months later, I'm personally just feeling like there's no break. Um, Obviously, we're being asked and sometimes even mandated to work double the length of shift we would normally normally work. That, that affects your home life. I've personally had to pay a babysitter to stay the night with my daughter, which is new for me. Um, I also just think you don't get a break. Um, on, even on the few days that I have off, my phone is bombarded with messages from the employer, respectfully, but still essentially begging you to come to work on the only days that you do have off with your family. It's always in the back of your head. You can't help but wonder if your colleagues are struggling. We're human, we don't want to think about or know that our colleagues may be under a lot of stress doing work that is almost or unmanageable and you take that home with you. And so I just personally feel that I really haven't had much of a mental break from, from um, the idea of COVID, the burden of COVID in the hospital um, and, and its in, in effects on my specific workplace. So.